I would take like little by little and never take huge amounts like this. If you think that much money is going to go missing and nobody's going to notice. On June 6, 2021, a displeased business owner reported a grand theft incident at her store to 911. During an audit, it was discovered that over $25,000 had unaccountably disappeared. There should be $1,100 bills in there, total between the two, and now there's only 1100 At first, she didn't know who was stealing the money. Later, she became suspicious of an employee. This worker started buying new cars and often came to work with new Gucci bags each week. Sorry, I'm a nervous guy. 26 seconds. I never thought this would happen. It's okay. And you've got, and you've got your initials to set on those dollar bills? The owner chose to devise her own counter sting operation. She marked the bills with a distinctive letter before the officers arrived as a method to confirm that the money was indeed stolen from her cash register. That's like me at the bank numbers. Plus, we have the serial numbers of the other bills. Okay. Cool. So, all right. How do we do this? Do so I just go in and just, uh, how does she look? She's got a long, tan khaki skirt. She's got a black over jacket. She's the shorter of the two. I have the register tape too that she pulled it, like the timestamp too. Okay, you got that on video? Or do you just the tape? I just have me on video, but not her on video doing it. But I have the time that she went over the time. Okay. Yeah, of course. What's your phone number? Excuse me, ma'am. She's going to phone the customer. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll get some pictures out to you, okay? All right, perfect. We'll give you a text, okay? Um, I'll try to get them out to you today. Hello. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Good, Good how are you? Police Department. Yeah. The reason why I'm here today is because we got a call in reference to someone. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a second. Okay? Yeah, of course. Is there somewhere we can talk to her? If you want to talk privately, you can just go in the back. <clears throat> yeah, you can go ahead okay. and show us. It's like at the very back. Yep. Sorry. You messed back there. All right. So first question is, can you guess why we're here? Um, I was accused of stealing money at a party. That was it. Okay, come on. Uh, got your car. Yeah, I do. All right, I'm just going to read this out to you, all right? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop questioning at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand the rights that you're you? Sure. Okay, so. Tell us about I was looking for a tampon. I, I... All I was doing was traveling for a tampon. I thought I started my period, and I had moved this girl's bag. I only paid her back because I didn't want anything to happen. Mm-hmm. I didn't want it to be put on me because I'm not that kind of person. And the way she was talking to me, like it felt like it was going to be... Who was the she? Was it your manager? Or... No, it was um, a girl at the party that, I guess, she had messaged me. And she said, like, I saw you the one doing that. Um, so, what's this? What's this young lady's name? I I didn't get to know her. Um, I have it on my phone. I can show it to you. Okay. Um, I think it started with an A. Uh-huh. But she said like either way, I'm gonna like put legal. Okay. And what, you. Where was this party? It was at um, like a New Year's event center in Lake Mary. Lake Mary. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we appreciate it, but mm-hmm. that's not necessarily why we're here today. We're here because you're being accused of theft. However, the theft. It's not in regards to that part. It's in regards to something that's happened here today. Okay. So, you have a manager um, who advised us that, well, not manager, you have one of your other coworkers mm-hmm. who advised us that they left a certain amount of dollars, very identifying marks, mm-hmm. on that. And you were the only person in the store. Okay. So, she also has the receipts of the opening of when the drawer was opened, what exact time. Okay. Where we're at right now is, uh, I can't, I can't promise you anything, mm-hmm. but for me, and I'm sure Officer Ferrer the same thing, honesty is the best policy, okay? So, could you tell us anything about that? I did do it. Um, I'm having some issues with money right now. 
Um, I just like bought off a new car, so it's, I haven't been working lately. Um, I will admit to that. So was it just today, or has it been in the past? It was today, and then I've done it in the past before, but never like large amounts. How much would you say? Probably like. So we want to the back. Three hundred maybe was the most beforehand. It's in my bag. Okay, can I go through that bag? Yes, sir. Okay. It's gonna be in that pocket. Okay, so if I'm wasting your time, I don't want to waste it. You guys have better things to do than this stuff. Does that makes sense. No, that's stuff. No matter where it's from, man. No, your time is valuable. All right. Do you mind? Do you mind uh, coming over here for me, sure. just to yeah, identify? That's not my. Can I take a picture? Do you care? I already have all the pictures. This is going on in the report. Can you identify these bills? Wait one second. You see any J's so far? This one. I mean, I have serial numbers. Okay. Of the others, I gotta get the serial numbers. Well, the J's I know are winners. And there's one J. There's my J's. There's another J here. This is the only J, but I'll get you the serial number. That's a J. That's my name. Okay. Caitlin, I need the serial numbers. No. So I'm going to talk to her and see what she wants to do. Okay. Um, at this moment, I said, you know, what she's alleging, it's a little bit more than 800. Mm -hmm. Like I said, for me, honesty is the best policy. One thing I can do, have you ever been arrested? No, sir. So, real quick. With situations that have happened, or especially with things like death, you know, I can't promise you that, but you don't have a record, so that's there's no pattern there. Now, the, the situation out of Lake Mary, we don't that has nothing to do with us, yeah. We're only here for, for this that happened today, and the stuff is happening over time, okay. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you know, it's not for us to sit up there and be like, hey, you know, you did this to come and hammer me by anything like that. No, mm -hmm. it's wrong. You have to be accountable for it, yeah. right? But it's not a situation where, like I said, it's not foreseeable that you could have a future after this, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go talk with her, um, and then I'll, I'll be... Because uh, I don't want you to go back in there. And I'll be back. And I have to tell you, at this moment... You're being placed in investigative detention. I'm not going to put you in cuffs or nothing like that right now. We'll, we'll get to that later, okay? We're just going to... Live supporting documentation. May she, uh, can she have a seat for a minute? Of course. Can she have a seat? Okay. You have to go to the door, so just bear with me. You have, you have your customers and stuff. We'll do our best to keep it quiet, okay? Does, does this belong to you? The $5. Yes. That was given to me from her. Okay. I have her money for coffee, the five singles. Oh, yes. Hey, listen, I'm going to grab some people. Yeah. How many, how many, did you do one of the press charges? Yes, I do. And because I added it up. It's $7,000 that's been going on. You're breaking my freaking heart. I have the documentation in my car. I wasn't prepared to turn it over because I was trying to rule it out. But I'll show you what I was preparing for my insurance company. Okay, let's it's, see that. It's, it's well over what she has here. I was hoping she would show it all. What you took this morning and you didn't. So, no, and I'm going well, to let's, let's, let's make it not contentious. Well, I wouldn't. And where was the other, where was the other bit? I, t I told him it was in that back pocket of my bag. Like which, that, which one? The one with the zipper. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Is that the rest of it from today? or? Yes, sir. She put, uh, she put the J in the photograph. Is this all from this business? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to put your keys back in your purse if you don't mind. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. What do you think that much money is going to go missing and nobody's going to notice? I mean, this, it ain't 20 bucks. Um, I'm going to go count my drawer because okay. I can tell you what I had. Like, okay. Alright. Alrighty, what's your name? Yana. Alright, Yana, do me a favor, stand up. Five, ten, ten. Right now, you're gonna be placed under arrest for theft, okay? Do me a favor, lift your hands up. Do anything. I'm not gonna search for anything, I'll let them do that at the jail, okay? Does that sound right? 307-1015. Does that sound right, ma'am? 1360? I did. Okay. So it was only the one time before this? She took maybe like 300? Yeah. Okay. Because I was making good money before and I was working a lot more. So what, did she cut your hours or something? 
Is there a reason why she did it? To me, I feel like it's because I wasn't doing anything right. So it kind of sucked, but okay. so I'm like going to jail. <laughs> because of the amount. Um, when she first called us, she made, she gave us a number. And you would have gotten a notice to appear because oh, you, would, you could have gotten it. That's Sorry. Our, we, we yeah, that's our supervisor that. now. Uh, <laughs> you would have gotten a notice to appear. Sorry, memory stuff. For me. I called him unnecessary. Let me see that on paper. You can just look at all of it. You can have it. Um, and that 22000 okay. doesn't no, I didn't know she was going to. I actually okay. came in because I was planning on just interviewing her. Right. Mm -hmm. She was not originally who I thought it was going to be. I was very shocked. I, I got it down to just, I rolled out everybody but her and another girl. Yeah. And I actually just thought it was the other girl, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. But now looking at all this evidence and the time clocks when she was here, it all lines up. Okay. Makes sense. Do you recollect any of those things? Okay. How much do you think you've taken over the years? It's just this year, by it's the way. Just this it's year. just this year. How many? I didn't keep track. I mean, you got to have a ballpark in excess of a thousand dollars. How much was your purse? How much was your car? How much do you think? Um, I want to hear what you think. That was the most I've ever taken. At a time, or? So she's missing twenty-two thousand dollars. So if you don't think you took that much, you got to have a ballpark of how much you do think you took. I have documentation here to show, I know. Go ahead and head north for her to pick this up, send you a picture of it. When she's done, that way it gives her time to... All right, cool. Uh -huh. What side am I going on? Um, try to keep it away from, you know, the general public, so... I can make a picture um, like I said, I talked to her. Um, the person accused was given a year of probation and must pay back $20,000. We hope she's learned from this so she won't end up on a show like America's Most Wanted.